Hi, beastie. You wanna go out there? You wanna go outside? Okay, let's go. There you go. Hey guys, welcome to router 2 brief How you all doing? Before I get started with the video, I just wanna say thanks so much for subscribing and being a really cool fan base. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook group. That's really cool. There's no idiots allowed. Check the link in the video description. Also, check the description of all the gear that I use and where you can get it. I get everything on Amazon unless it's fish. All right, so that being said, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with the tank and talk about what I'm gonna be doing to take care of the salt creep. And I'll show you what that is. If you're new to the hobby, you don't know. Fish are doing really well. I'm thinking about adding, I have four clownfish in here. There's no coral. I'm gonna be adding coral, maybe. I kinda of like it with just fish only. It's easier to maintain. But anyway, I just cleaned the tank, so that's why there's stuff floating around in the water. I've got four clownfish, and I'm thinking about adding four more. I've got a 40 gallon tank in the basement. Uh, that I gotta set up for quarantine. I'll show you how I'm doing that next week, probably. Um, coralline algae is coming back really well. That's the purple on the rock. I love the glass lids but I like the mesh lids even more because it allows the cycle to get rid of the nitrogen gas as it goes out of the water. Also, it oxygenates the tank more, more oxygen in the water. But one thing it does is it causes water to evaporate faster. As you can see, I got to fill up the tank with a little bit of water. I'm putting one gallon to two gallons a day in this tank, probably one gallon a day. And as you can see, it's blowing some of the <laughs> air bubbles because the water level is really low in the sump because it evaporates quicker. Salt creep, as you can see, is really pretty bad. Salt creep is when the water evaporates or splashes mainly and the water lands here the water evaporates and it leaves the salt behind it's science 101 solids don't evaporate into the atmosphere as we go along the tank we're going to see that it gets worse because of these cords they're coming out from the lid yeah you know what i could drill a hole or cut a hole in the mesh but look at, because this lid is open by a half an inch, the water splashes out a little bit over time down the cable and all the salt on the glass doesn't look good. And it's also splashing here. <clears throat> I cleaned it off a little bit, but you can see the salt creep is getting on the stairs. It's not doing too good for the wood. I mean, I don't like it. It's messy, so I'll be putting the glass lids back on. With the glass lids, oxygen will still be fine in the tank, and nitrogen gas will still escape. But the good thing with the glass lids is the water will evaporate less, and I'll wipe the underneath side of the glass because the salt will jump up, stick on the glass, and evaporate, allowing less light to penetrate through the glass lid so your tank gets less light. Visually, you can't see it, although it really doesn't matter too much because I don't have coral in this tank. But if I did have coral in the tank, they would be getting less light to survive. So that's why you got to stay on top of cleaning your glass lids. Glass lids will also keep this tank a little quieter, not that it matters. So I'm going to put them on now. I have to clean them a little bit more, but I actually prefer the look of the glass lids. I forgot how cool they looked makes it look a little more artsy like more of a glass box i like it i cleaned off the salt creep after it dries on the floor i'll have to vacuum it up and i'm going to take some scissors and notch the top out a little more so the cords are you know so this can lay more flat i never had a problem with the salt creep until i put the mesh lids on and i've had the mesh lids for over a year now But lately it's been getting a lot worse for some reason, so I'm like, I'm going back to the glass lids. Now I'll probably top off the water due to evaporation, maybe one gallon every four days. So I'm saving like six gallons a week. Not that that's a big deal, but just so you know, one gallon top off a day with mesh lids in this 125 gallon aquarium, 
versus one gallon every three or four days from what I remember. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already for Saltwater Aquarium Care here on the channel and give the video a like. Let me know what you're using, glass lids, mesh lids, and I'll see you in the next video. I may go shopping for clownfish tomorrow, and I'll show you the quarantine tank in the video, video to come pretty soon. Who said you can be in the video? I just wanted to go down here. Fine.